Yes, Jen, so we do in today's question is like, what meal should I eat uh, to lose weight? Now, okay, it's not actually like the meals, okay, you need to worry about this, about understanding the principle of like, obviously, how you make up the meal, okay, because when you strip it back, a meal is just made up of perhaps protein, and some carbs, and some fat, and you perhaps you can split the carbs into sort of like fibrous carbs, which is veg, and then obviously like more starchy carbs, which is perhaps your, your rice, bread, pasta, whatever, okay? Um, so again, that's how you like, to, it's like a jigsaw. That's what you need to understand then, okay? How you, again, just put them together in different sort of amounts, different uh, per serving sizes is what makes the meal. There's no sort of perfect meal. There's no sort of like, this is the meal you need to eat. You need to have chicken, rice, and broccoli, okay? No, like people just have that because it's just, it's just simple, okay? Doesn't mean you can't, you always have to have that. Doesn't mean that's the best. Um, and it doesn't mean you can't rotate this. So you could have sort of beef, potatoes, and spinach, okay? It's still the same sort of thing. You just change the sort of, um, the, the type of food you use, and that's all it is. But it still covers the protein, still covers the veg, the carbs, etc. And that's what you need to focus on when you're making your meals. It's not a case of, like, oh, what meal should I eat? It's a case of, Understanding nutrition, understanding what sort of what foods are what are what sources like what like what what are eggs they give you protein okay understanding that so there's my protein for that meal and then right where's my veg coming from where's my carbs where's my fat coming from and then depending on your sort of goals um your activity levels where you currently at to serve that will dictate then perhaps the serving size of perhaps carbs and fats etc like how much of that you want to have um. Wherever you sort of you're trying to get really lean um, and you're just starting out, or again, sort of, yeah, you train like five, six days a week, you're gonna want more calories, etc. So you have more carbs, more fats. Okay, so that will depend, like, that will sort of influence the sort of the serving size of, again, mostly your carbs, your, your, your sort of and the size of your meals, really. Okay, so this is what you need to understand, like, sort of, it's like what meal should I eat. It's a case of, right, look at your protein. Okay, protein is gonna come from a source of meat, so chicken, turkey, uh, like red meat, like minced steak, whatever, like pork, whatever you enjoy, like whatever you fancy, whatever's in the cupboard in the fridge. And um, then you got sort of like your your fish, all different types of fish, whether salmon, tuna, like sort of mackerel, I don't know, like sort of frozen fish, whatever, cod. Um, then you got perhaps like eggs or protein powder or like Greek yogurts, okay? They'll give you a big hit of protein. And then for like, you can pick those, okay, we're gonna have this. Um, or this meal, actually, I'm gonna have some Greek yogurts because that's a lot of protein, right? Where my, where's my veg or some of my fiber coming from? All right, I'll have some, I'll have some fruit beer, I'll have some berries, okay? I like so that can go there, right? Um, how many carbs do I have or what fat could I have, okay? And then you bring that in, you could have perhaps some, put some oats in there, mix that in, okay? Or perhaps some peanut butter, mix that in as well, okay? And that's how you just build it. And then when you break it down, you've got those the components of a meal. And like I said, then it depending on where you're at, um, it's gonna influence like how much carbs you have and how much fat. But as a ballpark figure, like perhaps you know, keep sort of uh, your carbs, perhaps I like to do a round training before and after because you're gonna utilize them better, okay? So if you have carbs before training, again, you can use them for energy. And then obviously after training, you're gonna need them to replenish and sort of put the sort of fuel back in the tank, okay? And perhaps if you have meals, you could just have protein, veg, and fat, okay? Um, so yeah, that's and, and that's those just components. You just build from there, okay? Once you understand that, it doesn't have to be okay. You have chicken, rice, and broccoli. It doesn't have to be that. It could be like chicken, rice, and kale. It could be chicken, rice, and peppers. It could be chicken, sweet potato, and cucumber. Okay, it could be just sort of chicken, uh, potatoes, and a salad. Okay, you understand sort of the the main sort of sources and like the components, and then you just put them together and you mix and match. Okay, and that's the sort of the beauty of it, and that's how you sort of keep sort of keep rotating your meals and just it keeps things fresh and you had that variety as well it doesn't like I said it doesn't have to be oh eggs and porridge are like so that's the best breakfast that has to be that way no it doesn't have to be like that you can have eggs toast and sort of like i don't know and spinach whatever okay you could have oats you know protein powder mixed in with some some berries okay it doesn't have to be that or you can just go completely sort of away from that if you wanted to you could have sort of salmon and sort of like bacon or avocado whatever okay and this is why you just have to understand about nutrition. There's no case of, oh, I need to know the sort of, I need this meal plan, I need something to tell me what to know. Like, you just need to know the components of a meal so then you can sort of make, you can learn to sort of hunt and fish for yourself. And once you do that, then it just becomes so much easier. Because it's like, all oh, right, what have we got there? We've got some eggs, we've got some tuna. All right, if I combine those, that's going to be a nice hit of protein. What can I have that with? I'll have that, perhaps in a wrap or something, like, I don't know. Um, and so that would be my carbs or whatever. Um, or... I um, and just mix it up.
okay? Um, those are just options, like sort of how you can piece together a meal, okay? And it's just the components, it's not sort of, oh, that's the ultimate meal, that's the one, because it's the, like, no, it's just sort of, you look at sort of what's made up of, combine them together, and then, yeah, there you go. And like I said, depending on your goals, um, how active you are, like sort of your training, like sort of whatever you want to achieve, weight, your fitness levels, that's going to dictate then the size of your meal, how many calories you're going to have, etc. So that's when you need to look at as well, okay? But I just want to break down how to sort of, how, what sort of meals you should have, okay? It's not all like, oh, Al, what's the best meal to have after training? I don't know. Just have some protein, have some veg, or some carbs, okay? Doesn't matter, like, there's no best food, there's no best meal. Get away from that, okay? Hope that helps, gents. It gives you a different perspective. Any help, any questions, you know where I am. Hit me up.